Apollo Boomer Baps so down is it? And we're back. Broke it. <laughs> He's alive. We're back, indeed. I had to turn it on, I think I broke it. <laughs> so apologies. Still tweaking it, or oh, blame AMD. It's one or the other, take your pick. <laughs> Cat's adorable. She's a cutie. That's a good pussy. <laughs> so pussy that likes a lot of attention, that's for sure. <laughs> what should I say, dirty? <laughs> yeah, mate. No tricks. Mice eater and mice beater. <laughs> Not bad. Hey Dean James, here I've been diving deep into mice and how light uh, you can get. What would you refer to a mouse that's essentially an exoskeleton with a PCB? <laughs> um, like the Zero Mouse from Optums. I think he's done it as well, hasn't he? Um, PPM and a few people. I mean, I guess it's a mouse still. If there's anything really, it's still a mouse, isn't it? There's no real, no, I, no, I, not that I know. We refer to anything different than than that. So, it's just extra light, maybe fingertip, but 
that generally relates to something that's a little bit, I guess, less palmy, but there's no real name for it as such. Not that I know. Always takes time to make your own PCB, mate. Start venturing into that stuff. That's why I'm not interested in making my own mouse. Too much competition. You got the followers, maybe. <laughs> we could flog it. Uh, we're gonna take down the V3 hyperspeed, and then we're gonna mod the VGM, basically. Um, Max Pro. Yep, keeps some massive boxes. She also likes to um, ensure we're doing good quality work. T's not too bad today. Right. What do I think of the V3 hyperspeed? You could put a double A in it, I guess, but I, don't, I still don't see where this mouse fits. Like Overall, I think it's actually a better shape than the Viper. I think it is. I can throw the flat front to the Viper V Pro, V2 Pro. The coating's not as nice, it's a bit smooth. Side buttons are tight, but they're not. I feel like smaller, smaller switches, I guess we'll find out. Low profile DPI. I don't get what it fits, like, why? <laughs> I call it a V3. Right. It's a little bit pre, but not too bad on this one. Don't like the split skate still. I did feel the shape, but it's quite big. It feels a lot bigger than most, I think, this one. It's not as flat as a V2 now, a bit more of a central hump. I reckon the weight is. Without a battery, let's have a look. Uh, what do you in the community? What do you do for the community? Nothing more short and badass. Cheers, man. Try to help when I can. It's only a hobby. I like to show people what I'm trying to buy. I think you have to understand the mouse before you review it. So it's kind of at the front where the sensor is, not the sensor position on the hyperspeed. And people have gone, oh no, it's great for fingertip. But you don't fingertip a mouse that's this long, right? Fingertips are much shorter. I mean, here's a Pulsar Mini. Look how much longer it is. You fingertip this beast. So, yes, the sensor position is better for fingertip, but you don't fingertip this unless you're crazy. So there's at the moment, the weight's at the front. Let's try a double A like they reckon, right? Because you're not expecting us to put a triple A in this. Because it's a bit annoying they didn't make the slot fit alternative batteries like the Orochi, I guess. It's got big flaps as well. <laughs> okay, look at the weight distribution. Now it's like here, probably another switch back. So the weight's now right there. It's like central weight expected, but not like, I don't know, it's confused, right? I don't see what Razor is trying to do with the V3 hyperspeed and why they called it that. It's a bit like when they called the Cobra Pro. It's really a Viper Mini. I just don't know who's making up the names for it. So it's the... Let's see how much the uh, sensor's out of position compared to something else. It's a bit difficult to measure because of the front, but. 48. Quite a bit. It's like twice as far forward. What's this overall damage? It's not a small mouse at this point, any means. It's only up there. 27. The front grip. 16, which means it's probably quite. Thin at the bottom, maybe without the button depressed. With the button depressed, not too bad. It is a lot of thinner at the bottom, but not like um, was a recent one that was dead thin. OP1, what do you think? Thirty nine high, similar. Do some buttons I like the curves, I like comfort grooved as well. So, I mean, 
Let me see what it fits. People are going to be using this, do you reckon? Same size. I won't be rushing out to buy it unless I particularly wanted this shape and then I'd be disappointed I've got to put double A in it or maybe a triple A with a mod or maybe a tin foil or maybe even just a LR44 in it. It's only a 1K, isn't it? There's a lot of space in there. We'll definitely mod it. We'll mod it today. We'll just tear it down. But overall, I don't know. It's a different mouse to me. It's this Razer V3 Hyperspeed isn't a, isn't a Razer Viper. It's just the change. Unless you're going to change it now and that Viper V2 Pro model is gone. That's it. Like a pretty light with that battery in it. So you probably get pretty light with a good another battery, just a normal energizer double A. So I can probably Yeah, we can use I reckon we can easily keep it below 70, no problem with just a simple battery mod. But yeah. Dunno, I don't see how it fits. Right, let's take it apart. The V3 Hyperspeed from Razer. Right, so base weight was. 81's a big boy, yeah. So 81 with a no battery and then, sorry, not 81. <laughs> 58 without battery and 81, 82 with it, double A. For this, ain't always Mooney. Better wired, nah. Wired trash, mate. Wired 1980s, mate. No need for wires anymore. Unless you just want it to pull on your mouse, that's it. Which basically they do. You get a bungee, but defeats the point, right? Look who it is. Good to see you, Carrot. Matthew turned up, mate. You know what I mean? Late as usual. I mean, why it's even becoming even more obsolete with higher latency or higher pull rate in mice now? They're gone. Wired is dead. Been longer than 12 minutes, mate, since we started it. You're like 20 minutes late at least. Even in uh, Spinal Crusher, right? AMD uh, crashed, mate. You know what I mean? So that's why it makes light year a bit earlier than you are. No strings attached, baby. Just put away. Now people are dropping 4K polling and 2K polling, even Logi and stuff. Why would you ever want to go wide? Makes no sense. Why do you want to restrict yourself? <laughs> Intel crashed the network. It was that good, mate. It's still on my ropey version of Windows 11 at the minute. I need to rebuild it. I didn't get a chance today. Back to Windows 10 for Friday. Fresh build. Still got audio issues. Beautiful. They should have called it the Cobra and named the Cobra the Viper Mini. <laughs> yeah, exactly, mate. That's it, Lucky. I agree, mate. Now, why didn't they do that? You know, people were lusting after a different shaped Viper. I get it, right? But some people do actually like the shape of the stock Viper. I personally don't. I prefer this shape to the Viper V2 because I like the flared front. But uh, like I said, I don't, see, I don't see why they changed it. Makes no sense. Still obsessed with the split snake configuration, which just snags. Which is why we modded that other V2 the other day, sanded the base so we could get mini skates on it and not have a snaggy front. Do you think they're going to make a V3 Pro? I don't know. That's what's confusing, right? Are they going to change the shape now to release of the V3 Pro? Is that what we're going to see? Different shape? Like how they tried to make it lightweight. 
Yep, we're still looking at 80 grams. The battery in it, great. Maybe high seven, maybe low seventies. Mm. Getting mid sixties will it be pretty good? But they compromise the sensor position for the double A battery layout, like the way that goes up. That's why the sensor is so far forward. It's not because they want to design it that way. It's because the battery location compromises the sensor position. Don't get it. I think people want to see a Razer Viper Mini cheap. You know what I mean? 56 quid, maybe 100 quid, not 280 quid like an SE. That's what people want. It's like a smiley face, don't it? Logitech G203 at 15 bucks every two months is kind of a good reason to stay with the wired. Uh, is it really? Like we've got four screw positions one, two, three, four, but they are slightly uh, looks like a torque screw. That looks like we have a screwdriver set, same size as Super Light. There's a Super Light, looks like it. Fraction longer, like a quarter of a mil, maybe. You just get instead of a 203 weight, you just get a 305, and then you get freedom. Unless you want a lighter weight, I guess. You need some good mods on the 305. My favorite mouse, I don't know, mate, there's too many. Depends what year we're looking at. Let's put your in gaming and mice. For talking now, Pulsar X2 Mini or a Atlantis um, Lambda at the minute. I like They're my favorite ones that have come out recently. If you want something more budget, I quite like the VGN Dragon as well. The AJ199 is pretty good, but it's a little bit, I don't like the skates, so you'd have to sand the base and stuff on that AJ, but the uh, VGN is good. Screw driver set's very good, mate, yeah, indeed. Also, they don't strip like the uh, other screw driver sets you had, especially with the super light. Um, sorry, Starlight. Those titanium screws eat through screw driver sets. People are hating on these Chinese mice. What the VGN, you reckon, and the AJ199? I don't really like about it. I mean, they're all China, right? This is Chinese mice. It's just got a better brand behind it. The AJ199 is actually pretty good inside, to be fair. 
Took it apart the other day. There's a tear out coming tomorrow for it. I'll tear it down Tuesday, Monday. This is tight. Yeah, they're all made in China, is that? Right. The old days of cheap China mice, sure. We're all using decent components now. It was hard to beat on the AJ199 for like $20 or whatever it is. But the feet do, do suck. But the VGN for that money, I bet it's anything that beats it to be fun. It even whips some of the uh, better mice. You call them better brands. It's a hell of a cable, isn't it? I, I don't get what uh, Razor were doing with this mouse. I just, it makes no sense to me. Like, they tried to, so they've been taking the weight out of the base, right? Spent a lot of time, but they haven't rippled it like another, like a normal Viper inside. And they haven't tried to take the weight out of the rear shell either. The only difference is this is a single piece rear shell, which is different to a reason over the, making them a bit more like the, um, yeah, that's interesting, we'll find out in a sec. Um, normally they make them so they're detachable shells, which is why I see people modding them for Colors and stuff, but uh, for like paint jobs. Oh, we don't care we got three screws. Change the screwdriver set again. I don't understand why they still want to put different screws in the bases. In terms of like these torque screws trying to stop people opening them, but so available that. Uh, most people I've got anyway. balls of steel. What's the point? A future. This for the uh, YouTube sub, mate. Appreciate it. Hey, Nate, that's indeed we do, mate. 